Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is Saturday. I almost never film on Saturdays because it's my day off. I just knit through for two hours and I made mad progress, which is fantastic because this project has been going so slowly. I am visiting my family this week for probably the whole week, which means I will be very behind from my original plan because originally I wasn't going to visit. It's kind of a spur of the moment trip. I wanted to touch base to say, my husband just started mowing the lawn. I'm sorry for that background noise. Also, Max is right about to wake up. <laughs> There's so many things going through my head and I don't know what I want to communicate. So I'm just gonna go here. I am this far in my knitting. So I'm making this tank top. I've been making it since like June of last year. Uh, I have all of the front part done here. I'm a little nervous it's going to be too big, but that's fine. I'll just get pregnant again. Um, and then I am doing the back side right now. I just woke up Max by shouting. Um, that's okay. So I'm doing the back side. I've got the arm, the bottom armhole shaping done. It's like not laying quite right. So I'm hoping blocking will fix that slash it's possible I did it wrong. Whatever, I made so many errors and there are some pieces in this where things just don't make sense and I had a lot of trouble with the pattern. And I'm so done, but I refuse to have made it this far and not come out with a tank top in the end. So I am going to finish it. I'm going to finish it and it is going to be fantastic and I'm going to do it within the next week. And by week, I mean maybe three weeks because I'm an idealist, but I'm also a realist. And at the end of the day, I just want it done. I don't know why this has gotten under my skin so much, but it has. I've had to redo so many pieces and the pattern is driving me bonkers. And I just want to do a nice little garter stitch, something or other. Outside of that, this week, okay, so Max is awake, so... In the next two minutes, I'm gonna give him his bottle. I'm gonna braid my hair again because I slept in this and it looks like a mess, that's fine. Max, bottle, braid hair, go for a walk, eat lunch, give Max lunch, and then probably when he goes back down, I'll do a little bit more knitting. And then we have church. And then in the evening, I always knit while we watch something. And I will catch up with you if I don't film that, which I might. I haven't made any decisions, spur of the moment. Depending on what I film, I will catch up with you tomorrow on the knitting. I'm gonna try to do like a daily update on where I'm at with the knitting because that will motivate me to actually do the knitting. It's going to be done. And sometime within, not next this week, because apparently I'm leaving now, the week after, I'm going to go to the Yarn Barn of Kansas. It's a bit of a drive, but I have not been physically, but I've bought from them for many, many years online. And I'm very, very excited. So that is on the docket. That's part of the reason I'm finishing this tank top is because I'm about to buy a ton of projects so that I'm stocked up for our move because we're moving far enough away that they literally don't have a lot of yarn shops. I actually couldn't find any on Google. So, okay, so I'm gonna get Max.
This is how far I got last night. So in the last two days, I did most of this portion. I plan on getting some work done today, but who knows, I'm an unreliable narrator. It is currently 8.30, 8.38. Max is usually pretty calm in the morning. Baba, go lay down. He usually just plays on the ground and he's able to do that by himself for a little while. So it kind of depends on the day how long I do it. But usually I can either get chores done or get some some meal prep done, or in this case, since it's Sunday and I'm being chill, I'm gonna be able to get a little knitting done. So yeah, that's that's all I'm doing today. And then there's Bubba, who just can't be alone. All my plants are going to my parents' house this week because I can't bring them with me when we move. And I am gonna be so sad in this house without their bright green joy. So I'm saying goodbye. This is my string of bananas. Isn't he lovely? He's so wholesome. He's doing so well. He's growing in so good. I'm gonna be really sad without this guy. And then I have over here, my pothos, po poth maybe, I don't know, whatever. This guy, ah, what a gem. He's growing big and tall. I have a cutting from this one who's thriving. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna miss him. I'm boxing him up right now and I'm just saying goodbye because I'm gonna be sad. You're good, Max, in this house without them. This is my little cutting. Look at this guy. Look at that. When I cut him, he only had three leaves. Now he's got so many. He's got seven leaves. Goodbye, little fella. Uh, hello again. Um, this is weird for me because it has been over two weeks since I filmed. Um, uh, so I went to my parents' place and it was fine. It was good. I was just going to take a week off and spend time with family. But then naturally I got sick while I was there. And so I was there for an extra week, which means it has been two weeks. I have done very little. I got very little knitting done. I come back home, first of all. And it is so green. Look at look at all of look at all these trees. Isn't this lovely? I'm so happy to finally have this back. It is April what 26 today. I was going to finish this video this week and then post it next. I was gonna prep for my Christmas stockings. I was gonna knit them and I was gonna go buy the yarn this week, but while I was gone, I thought about it and I realized I don't really want to knit them. I want to weave them. I want to weave yardage and then sew them into stockings. Partly because I just would rather be weaving. Partly because I want to try different things on the loom instead of just doing tapestries and squares. I want to try actually weaving something 
for yardage and a stocking is really easy to sew because it doesn't actually have to fit on a foot. It's just going to be flat. So that'll be super easy entry work. It'll still be like heirloom quality stockings. It'll still be unique to my family and it'll be fun. But now I don't know what yarn to buy. And also I don't know what I want the stockings to look like. I haven't picked out a pattern, so I can't move forward right now until I make big decisions about what I want these stockings to actually look like. So I am going to stop filming this video. <laughs> I'm gonna just go back to working in my studio on my loom. I have the twill to weave still, so I'm gonna do that. And then I am going to circle back <laughs> when I've made some important decisions about what I actually want to do. Okay, so I changed my mind again which according to Lorelai Gilmore is my prerogative as a woman. I was originally gonna just take some extra time, take this week to work on the loom and then I guess distract myself into figuring out what my next weaving project was gonna look like and what yarn I would need, et cetera, et cetera. Figure this out, okay. Um, but then I got stressed out <laughs> um, about putting that on the back burner. I was like, no, I have to figure it out right now and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I just decided to sit down this morning and just figure out what I'm gonna do next. So I think I have it figured out. I am going to weave the stockings. I have figured out what book I'm gonna get the pattern from, though I haven't fully decided on the pattern itself. But I know like my EPI, I know what yarn I need and how much I need-ish. Uh, when I get closer to actually weaving it, I will redo all of my math and make sure everything's accurate and like actually pattern out the stockings, how I'm gonna sew them and, and stuff like that. But I've got the basics figured out so I can go to the yarn barn. In the meantime, I am working on this old knitting project. Um, I am on the last row of this piece of the pattern. And then I think it's just shoulders and then seam and then neckline. So I will hopefully have this done by end of week. from the yarn barn and I guess this is my haul. I don't normally buy hauls. I normally buy by project exactly what I need and then shop my stash whenever I can because I don't like to have a ton of extra yarn. Um, but because we're moving somewhere that doesn't have a yarn shop, as far as I can tell as of right now, I wanted to stock up a little bit just so I have enough for a couple projects. So I got here are two different projects that I'm gonna be working on. One is gonna be a crochet sweater, which I've made next to no plans for. So I just bought yarn in a style that I like, in a color that I like. And then my Christmas stockings, I have decided to weave them and I have figured out kind of how I wanna do that and bought yarn based on what I'm starting with. But to start, I got Another boat shuttle. I think this is actually, yeah, it's the exact same boat shuttle I used to have. Oh, it's maybe a little longer, just less worn down. I don't know, basically the same thing. I love this boat shuttle. So it's the Leclerc 11 inch, nice and smooth, nice and easy. I think this is a different type of wood, but same thing. We're good, we're happy. Okay, and then I got, for the stockings, 
I got Tencel, 8-2 Tencel, um, the Maurice Brassard in the cone for, this is gonna be the warp, and I actually got two. I need a little bit more than one, but unfortunately they didn't have the little size, so I had to get two really big ones. I don't love that, so I'm gonna end up having to do something else with all of the extra yarn I'm gonna end up having. Um, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. But this is in top, taupe, taupe. Taupe. Tencel in taupe. And two. And then I got for weft colors, I'm going to do each stocking a different color. Uh, so I got three weft colors of Christmas variety. Okay, red and green, obviously. And then, oh, these are kind of hard to hold. Okay. And then a blue. Uh, my husband loves blue, and I figured it's still like wintry vibes. So red, green, and blue with taupe. Um, so they're going to be really warm colors, really rich was what I was going for. I think this will be really pretty and warm and Christmassy. Um, and then I got for the crochet project, the Sarasota Chunky 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. I very rarely buy anything with acrylic in it, but... This was the best cotton that they had, and at the end of the day, it's fine. It's not worth stressing out over. It's not a big deal. So I just got, this is gonna be awkward to hold, a palette that I liked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Happy springtime summery vibes. I have no idea how much I'm gonna use. So I just bought five. I don't know. Um, my plan is to do a granny square style sweater by just learning different granny squares that are about the same size and then just sewing them together. I want this to be the main color and for everything else to be like smaller patches. Um, and then whatever yarn I have left over, I will do little coasters or granny square washcloths or whatever little projects that's that's easy enough maybe i'll make max a matching granny square sweater that would be so cute okay um anyway so that's my plan with these guys and then i got the crochet hook because i didn't have the right size crochet hook so that's all that i got and <laughs> do you want to hear the price tag on these guys $245. Ouch. <laughs> it's because of these cones, and I know it's because of the cones. Um, this is mustard on my arm. Um, apologies. Also, I have french fry all over my shirt for Max. Lunch was a mess. That's everything. I am gonna go work on this tank top, and then I can start on this crochet. You guys, <gasps> I did it. <laughs> I finally, finally finished. Uh, it is, let's see, it is May 3rd. I think it took me, well, I officially started this in June of last year. I worked on a lot of projects in the middle, but Nevertheless, that's a long project time. Overall, I would say something I will totally wear. It is breezy and flowy and surprisingly cool despite the, the heavier fabric. It fits pretty well. It is definitely too big, especially you can tell like in the arm, in the arm openings, it's a bit too large, but I like the length a lot. I like the color. The color is perfect for my wardrobe. Um, this is a side tie tank, so it's actually supposed to have little side ties right here, but I knew that those would just bug me, so I'm gonna go tunic style. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. I'm just... I'm done. I mean, okay, I still have to weave in the ends, and I still have to block it, which will hopefully fix some of the armhole prop, like this, this issue. I... 
there was a short row section and I did one too many short rows on one side and then I didn't want to go all the way back. So I just did one too many on the other side as well. Mm -hmm. And now this is where we are, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, well, anyway, um, thanks for coming along with me on this really scattered YouTube video that took way longer than it should have. I, I'm just so happy. I'm just so glad that it's done and that I like it. I will hopefully then see you in the next video, which should be a weaving video because I am going to get back into weaving now that I have finished this. I got nothing else for ya. Catch you on the flip side.